Hi, I'm Erica Gamet, and today I want to show you how to set up cross-references in InDesign so you can easily navigate around your documents exported within Five. Cross-references are a great tool to help readers easily jump between sections and to reference items in different locations in an interactive document. There are many different ways you can use cross-references, and we're going to touch on just a couple today. However, if you'd like to see more customized or advanced ways to use them in your In5 projects, let us know down in the comments. Okay, so here I am in my InDesign document, and I have this little bio on my designer, and I want to call attention to this bio back here on this page, where it says, see the interview with our designer on, and we're going to enter into there, the cross-reference. But first we need to start where we're going to jump Two, we need to create our hyperlink destination. Now, cross-references are sort of like a more intelligent hyperlink. It's not exactly accurate, but kind of think of it that way. I need to create a way to jump to Jennifer. I want to jump to that point. So we're going to start with a text anchor. There are two different ways to create cross-references in InDesign. The first one being a text anchor. So I'm going to go to the cross-references panel and choose a new hyperlink destination. Notice it says hyperlink. Let's just call this tag Jennifer. And now we have that there. You can't see it, but it's there. I'll show you in a minute where we actually get into it and can see the tag for that. Now let's jump to that page where we want to put that information. See the interview with our designer on. Now I can either just insert a page number here, or in this case, let's go ahead and put with our designer, and we'll put her name and what page it's on. In this spot is where we're going to put our cross-reference. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and choose Create New Cross-Reference. And we don't want that. We don't want Paragraph. We're going to look at that in just a minute. We're going to look for those text anchors we just created. So we only have one text anchor. It's called Jennifer. So right now, by default, it says Jennifer Williams on page 7, and it's in quotes. And we're going to make some changes to that. But first, let's just put text anchor name and page number. So instead of putting Jennifer Williams, which was all the text in that paragraph. What I really want is Jennifer because that's the name of the tag we gave. So it's Jennifer on page seven. We'll do some more editing to this in a little while. And we'll say okay to that. And if I come down here, go back to that page with Jennifer on it, and let's say this information moves. I'll take all the information on this page, except that green background, and we're gonna go ahead and just drag all this information onto a new page. And then we'll jump back to the page that had the reference on there, the cross reference. And now it changes to page eight. That's where we just moved her to page eight, it used to say page seven. So that's where that intelligent part of the cross references comes from because it goes ahead and updates it. The other way to create a cross reference is by using paragraph styles. If we look at these products here, each of these actually have the same paragraph style. So if I select that, I'm going to actually drill these open so we can see them. We can see that we have the product name, the one that's in the layout group. You'll see why that's important in just a second as well. So I can link to a paragraph style. That's what we're going to do next. Let's go over to the previous page. And this is where I want to put my cross reference. So I'll say, check out the cozy, and then we'll put one of the products in there. So go back to cross references come down to create new cross reference. And this time I want to look at paragraphs. Now, if you look, that's a lot of paragraphs. In fact, it's all the text for all the paragraphs in my document. So let's narrow that down a bit. Let's choose the product name in the layout field or in the layout uh, folder. And let's choose Oslo winter. And we also need to change this. Notice nothing showed up because there's no text anchor. I've got some options for paragraph. I can either do the full paragraph or the paragraph text, which doesn't change. But if I did paragraph number, if I had a number, it would show up. So basically full paragraph is any text in the paragraph plus any numbering, or you can do just the text or just the number. In this case, let's choose full paragraph and page number. And if you notice, we've still got those quotes. I don't like those quotes. I didn't like it when it was on Jennifer. We can change, go back and change hers as well. But we'll come over here to this little pencil to do some editing and I'm going to go ahead and just delete those quotes that are there. I can also choose a character style for the cross reference if I want. I'm going to come in here and I have italic, I think, but maybe I don't have an italic for this font. I'm not sure. Eh, it puts it in something else, but you get the idea. It would normally italicize it. So there we go. Now it says check out the cozy Oslo winter on page four. Now, what if 
I actually change the text that's there. If I come over to Oslo winter and we change this to, let's do Oslo snowstorm instead. If I come back here, it's not updated. In fact, I can see in the cross references panel that needs to be updated. So I'm going to go ahead and click update cross references and everything updates for me. And the last thing is if you want to change the name of those text anchors that we created, maybe Jennifer is no longer our designer and we need to change that. We can go to the cross references panel menu and choose hyperlink destination options. And in here we can make a change or maybe she just changed her name to Jen and we want to change that there. But then because the anchor name changed, we have to go back and update the cross reference. All right, now we're ready to export this to in five, go ahead and save it. And then we'll choose in five export HTML within five. We'll set the settings that we need. I'm going to make a flip book with this. We'll say, okay. All right. So here's our catalog in the browser. Jump to that first page where it says, check out the cozy Oslo winter on page four. I jump to that. There it is. And up here, it says, see the interview with our designer, Jen on page seven. And there that one is. So that was a cross reference with a paragraph style and one with a text anchor. There's no automatic way to jump back to the place that you started, but you can build a hyperlink or even another cross reference with a text anchor back to the page. I don't like to have too many text anchors. It gets kind of confusing, especially because you can't see them. But anyway, I think that's for another day, another video. Share with us in the comments how you're using cross references and let us know if you'd like to see more ways to use them in InDesign and In5. Be sure to check out In5 at In5.us and if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.